Hello, my name is Mark Pimentel. I'm one of the CAM application specialists here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, we'll be talking about grain direction inside of nesting works. So I'll be making this component from a sheet of oak that has a particular grain direction. And I'd like that grain direction to be in the same direction as the slot or the old brown pocket on my component. So in order to achieve that, I'm going to use SOLIDWORKS functionality and NESTINGWORKS functionality. Let's start by using the SOLIDWORKS functionality to define the grain direction of this component. In my right menu, I can click on Appearances. And from the Appearances folder, I've selected Oak. If I just drag this textured face onto the face of my part, I can define just this single face as having the texture, mainly because I also want that face to be the top face of my part. I want the grain direction to be in the same direction as the slot. So now in my left menu, I'll go to Appearance. I'll right click on the only appearance I have on this part, edit the appearance, and under Mapping, I can just change the orientation of that grain. I'm just gonna change it to 30 degrees to match the same direction as the slot. With that done, I can now take this into nesting works and I can get it to align the part with the grain by first going to the nesting works settings. I'll make sure that the grain direction is the same direction as the textured pattern. And the reference face, the face I wanted to understand to control the orientation of this part, to be major face up. I'll tell it what the major face will be by overriding it using the textured face. So now that appearance that I've added to the face of my part also defines not only the grain direction, but the top face. I'll click on Apply. And now with those settings, I should be able to go to Create Nesting Job. And we can see that it understands that that textured face is my top face. And because it didn't recognize that I added the texture, I'll just add the texture pattern definition here. And now you can see the grain direction is in the same direction as my texture. Let's preview the nest and see what that looks like. Okay, with that done, let's create the nested assembly and we'll see that the grain direction is the same for all 50 of my parts. Now, if we take a look at my part here, we can see that the grain direction is the same for all components. This would retain the aesthetics of this part, making sure that the grain is in the same direction as the slot, and utilizing as much of the sheet with that in mind, still optimizing the nesting. Any questions on this or anything else, give us a call at the phone number found on our website, and stay tuned to the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.